What's going on guys? Johnny aka Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we're going to be doing a little interesting experiment. We're going to be talking about and demonstrating whether aquarium plants can grow on land specifically for this experiment which is completely non-scientific because I'm not a scientific dude. I just want to see if it'll work. Uh, we're going to grow um, four different plants in dirt. And just let me show you. All right, so we got a couple of tubs that we're using. This tub here and this tub over here. Uh, in this tub, we've got a couple of options I think we're going to do. What we're already currently doing is this stuff grows good. This is pearl weed, and that definitely is a plant that I would highly recommend for aquariums, and it grows pretty fast in aquariums, but it grows real fast on dirt. So that experiment is, yes, pearl weed you can. The uh, Java fern is still up for debate. Uh, we'll see, it hadn't been growing that fast. But here in this area today, we're gonna be uh, planting, or not planting, just laying down some plain old Java moss. And I want like a field of grass to see if that would work or not. Leave a comment below you think I'm crazy. Java fern can't grow on dirt. Or leave a, a like, or, or, or leave a comment saying yes. Java fern will grow on dirt. We'll find out for sure. We can read up on the internet forums and posts and see what they say, but we're going to do this firsthand and, and see for ourselves. How about that? All right. I just laid down a little mat of Java fern there. Uh, Java moss, sorry. I keep saying Java fern. It's actually Java moss, my bad. So, Java moss, I'm going to spray it real good and make sure it contacts the dirt. Okay, who says, how many people say it'll work? How many people say it won't? Let's see here, I'm gonna push it down a little bit. Give it some good contact points to the dirt. I'll spray it down some more. And we're gonna keep this covered. We're gonna keep this covered because it really likes humidity, but we'll open it up once a day for a few minutes and let it breathe and to spray it down. This is a mixture of some fertilizer. I'll put a link in the description below. So we'll see. Okay, we've got the verdict on this pearl weed. I'll recommend it in every tank or any tank. I'll show you a video on an experiment I did on the pearl weed versus the java fern in water. So, or java moss, my bad, in water. Okay, java moss, java fern, pearl weed. Okay, let's check back in a few days and we'll see how it uh, how it's doing. So we'll cover this up right here like that. So you can see it's the humidity is going to be pretty high on that. I'm going to set that over there and then I'll pull this one out here. All right, so I put that over there underneath that light right there. So that should hit, get some uh, really good light right there. And we'll check that out in a few days or so. Now I got this tub here. What we're going to do here, th what this is, is uh, dwarf baby tears. This does not grow well for me at least, in an aquarium without high light. It needs high light. Uh, it's been growing very well in this tub uh, with the light, that light up there shining on it that I just showed you. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see if, and it came from the little terrarium there. So I pulled that out, pulled it in here. That's why you see a little circle. I kind of like opened up the terrarium and just plopped it in there. But that's growing pretty good. Uh, we're getting a little bit of, die off there but it seems like it's growing back we'll see uh, but on this side what we're going to do today is we're going to check out Anubius Nana oh, we're going to plant that we're going to plant a Anubius Congensis okay we got these from uh, PetSmart the other day probably t I left them in here too long but that's okay it's been about a week in there but they'll, they'll be alright and an Amazon sword plant so the thing with Amazon swords, if you ever got those and you put these in your aquarium, it seems like they always die. If you ever had that problem, it's because they melt back. The leaves die back from this state of growing. They, they grow these uh, out of water, so also known as immersed, um, the leaves out of water. So they can survive this gel for a while, but we'll go ahead and put it in this soil and see how it goes. Yeah, very interesting. And I suspect 
this to be the fastest growing, the sword. Anubius, if it grows, well, I've, I'm pretty sure it will grow. So leave a comment. Do you think this Anubius is going to grow? Or this Anubius Nana? So here's one, two, three, okay? Number one, put a comment below number one if you think the Anubius Nana, which will be on the very top, looking at it sideways like it is now. Number two, Anubius Congensis, okay? Or number three, the Amazon Sword. And I'll probably put that Amazon Sword in the middle so you can tell the difference. So it's going to be Amazon Sword, Anubius Nana, and Anubius Congensis like this, okay? So I'll go ahead and pop those off there and plant them and show you if there's anything special we need to know about planting. I'll just get those out of the box. All right, so what we've got here is the Anubius Nana up here, and we got us a bonus because it actually gave us two rhizomes. Isn't that cool? So we're going to plant two of these. Well, we thought we got one. That's neat. That's not bad for five ninety nine or whatever it was, five or six bucks. So that's cool. Hopefully they live. And then the Amazon sword. I think I left in there too long. Some of the leaves were dying. Yank those off. But all in all, it looks pretty good. And they also, it looks like they gave us two. Look at that. They threaded two together. To make it look bushier when really look at that after pulling the thread off you get two plants nice root system Amazon swords you want a good root system because these leaves they really die off I'm not sure if they'll die off in the dirt they'll they'll thrive but when they come into your aquarium or in the aquarium you put them in they usually die off and people say Amazon swords are no good, but you got to wait for the uh, new growth to come out. So that's the tip there. Just go ahead and get rid of these weaker leaves. So cool. We got two of those. Do we have two of the uh, congensis? No, we don't. We only have one. <laughs> that's okay. So the... The trick on the Anubius, the same with Java Fern, is you don't want to, you can bury these these roots, but you don't want to go too far up on this rhizome. They call this little rhizome piece here. I can show you better on this Nana, Anubius Nana. Uh, see this little stick like the stem right there? That's called the rhizome, and these roots come off that. You can bury bury it till then, but don't bury it up here, or else they'll, this thing will just, it'll just die off and rot, and you don't want that. So let's go ahead and plant these. Oh boy rough for old guy let's see here all right so we have up on top two anubius nanas count how many leaves there are leave a comment below how many leaves you think there are because i didn't count them uh two swords and one anubius congensis nanas Swords, congensis. All right. Spray everything down. Get everything nice and humid. Put the top on. Stick them under the light. And there we go. Well, there you go, guys. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know if uh, which plant you think is the uh, will be the fastest growing if any right they all may die who knows I don't, I don't think so but that's why we're doing the experiment but uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that bell notification 
and check out my new merch at tropicalfishguide.com slash merch. As always, if you're not on the newsletter, get the fascinating fish facts, the tips and tricks, and all the other cool stuff at tropicalfishguide.com slash sign up, and you'll get the weekly newsletter. Um, hit me up on the Instagram at the Tropical Fish Guy. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate you guys, and happy fish keeping. Peace out. Mm -hmm.